Welcome to my little corner of the internet, where we celebrate creativity and growth. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're thrilled to have you here as we tackle 2007 Swiss Federal Council election. On December 12, 2007, all seven members of the Federal Council, the Government of Switzerland, were elected by the Joint Chambers of the Federal Assembly for the term of office. Councillors are elected individually by an absolute majority of votes, with the incumbent councillors defending their seats in descending order of seniority. All seven incumbents were running for re-election. All were re-elected, with the exception of Christoph Blocher, the councillor from the Swiss People's Party SVP. The Federal Assembly elected Evelyn Widmerschumpf in Blocher's place, who accepted her election on the following morning. Pascal Katschepen was elected President of the Swiss Confederation for 2008, and Hans Rudolf Mers, instead of Blocher, was elected Vice President of the Federal Council for 2008. As a result of the non-election of their official candidate Christoph Blocher, the People's Party declared itself an opposition party and excluded its nominal representatives on the Federal Council, Samuel Schmid and Evelyn Widmerschlumpf from its parliamentary group. In this chapter, we'll be shedding light on background and its role in shaping our understanding. In the 2007 Swiss federal elections, the SVP expanded their share of votes again, mostly at the expense of the Social Democrats' SPS. Christoph Blocher, the de facto leader of the SVP, had become embroiled in a political scandal over the circumstances of the resignation of Federal Chief Prosecutor Valentin Rochaka in 2006. However, a parliamentary oversight commission controlled by his political opponents failed to implicate him in any substantial wrongdoing. Under these circumstances, it was generally assumed that any attempt by the centre-left parties in Parliament to unseat him must fail even though Blocher had made many personal opponents with his confrontational political style. Nonetheless, according to a reconstruction of events by the Neue Zürcher Zeitung, the Social Democrats began to plan Blocher's removal from office immediately after the elections, but obtained no clear commitment from the centrist Christian Democrats' CVP. To provoke these parties into action, the Green Party of Switzerland nominated Luke Rickerden as their own candidate to run against Blocher. The GPS had previously tried to obtain a seat in 1987 and 1991, when they nominated Leni Robert against the Sps Adolf Ogi, and in 2000, when they nominated Xal Bumann for Ogi's seat when he retired. For days before the election, the Social Democrats contacted Evelyn Widmerschumpf to inform her that she would probably receive a substantial number of votes. Widmerschumpf reportedly did not state whether she would accept or decline her possible election. At the same time, the Christian Democratic Party chief, Christoph Darbele, publicly indicated his opposition to Blocher and hinted that he would accept if elected in his stead. On the eve of the elections, the leaders of the Social Democrats, the Greens and the Christian Democrats secretly agreed to support Widmerschumpf, after a test ballot in the Christian Democratic Parliamentary Group indicated that a majority of the group did not support Blocher. During the night, the Greens withdrew Rickardin's candidacy and the centre-left party leaders sought out support among individual representatives of the Free Democrats' FDP. All the while, Widmerschumpf's name was kept secret to prevent her party from exerting pressure on her and to prevent her from appearing as a candidate of the left. Only immediately before the elections were most centre-left members of parliament asked by their leadership to support Widmerschumpf. Our focus now turns to candidates an important aspect of our discussion. The following candidate participated in the election incumbents, in descending order of seniority. Moritz Leuenberger SPS, Head of the Federal Department of Environment, Transport, Energy and Communications. Haskell Kautschepen FDP, Head of the Federal Department of Home Affairs. Samuel Schmid SVP, Head of the Federal Department of Defense, Civil Protection and Sports. Michelin Kalmi Ray SPS, Head of the Federal Department of Foreign Affairs. Christoph Blocher SVP, Head of the Federal Department of Justice and Police. Hans Rudolf Mers FDP, 
head of the Federal Department of Finance. Doris Lucid, CVP, head of the Federal Department of Economic Affairs. Other candidates. Evelyn Widmer-Schumpf, SVP, a member of the government of the canton of Grobden. She was proposed by centre-left parties as an alternative candidate for the seat of Christoph Blocher, although it remains uncertain whether or not this happened with her consent. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding results and gain a fresh perspective. Source showing only the final votes in favour of each winner. Now, let's redirect our focus towards seat held by Moritz Leuenberger and discover its significance in our narrative. Moritz Leuenberger was re-elected during the first ballot. His re-election was supported by all parliamentary groups except that of the SVP. Round 1 Moritz Leuenberger 157 votes received by other persons 21 votes cast 246 invalid votes for blank votes 64 valid votes 178 absolute majority 90. The time has come to unravel the secrets behind seat held by Pascal Kautschepin and gain a deeper understanding. Pascal Kautschepin was re-elected during the first ballot. His re-election was supported by all parliamentary groups. Round 1 Pascal Kautschepin 205 votes received by other persons 26 votes cast 246 invalid votes 2 bank votes 13 valid votes 231 absolute majority 116. Now let's redirect our focus towards seat held by Samuel Schmid and discover its significance in our narrative. Samuel Schmidt was re-elected during the first ballot. His re-election was supported by all parliamentary groups. Round 1 Samuel Schmidt 201 votes received by other persons 18 votes cast 244 invalid votes for blank votes 21 valid votes 219 absolute majority 110. Now, let's delve into the intricacies of seat held by Michelin Calmy Ray and explore its various aspects. Michelin Calmy Ray was re-elected during the first ballot. Her re-election was supported by all parliamentary groups except that of the SVP. Round 1 Michelin Calmy Ray 153 votes received by other persons 27 votes cast 246 invalid votes 1 blank votes 65 valid votes 180 absolute majority 91. Without further ado, let's move on to the topic of seat held by Christoph Blocher. Christoph Blocher's seat was the only contested seat, and this contest was the focus of the public attention directed at the elections. His re-election was officially supported only by the SVP and FDP parliamentary groups. The SVP threatened to withdraw from the government in the case of Blocher not being re-elected. Prior to the election, the Green Group proposed a candidate of their own, State Councillor Luke Rickerden, to contest Blocher's seat. Rickardon's candidacy was withdrawn after left and centrist parties proposed to elect Evelyn Widmer-Schumpf, a centrist SVP executive councillor from the canton of Grobenden, in Blocker's stead. Widmer-Schumpf was elected with 125 votes in the second round. A SVP motion of order to interrupt the election until afternoon was rejected with 155 votes against. Widmer Schlumpf declared on 13 December, 8 a.m., that she would accept her election. Round 1 Round to Christoph Blocher 111 115 Evelyn Widmer Schlumpf 116 125 votes received by other persons 11 2 votes cast 246 246 invalid votes 2 0 blank votes 6 4 valid votes 238 242 absolute majority 120 122 in the next segment, we'll be exploring seat held by Hans Rudolf Mers and its implications for our subject matter. Hans Rudolf Mers was re-elected during the first ballot. His re-election was supported by all parliamentary groups. Round 1 Hans Rudolf Mers 213 votes received by other persons 20 votes cast 244 invalid votes 3 blank votes 8 valid votes 233 absolute majority 117. 
In the next portion, we'll be immersing ourselves in the realm of seat held by Doris Luthard and examining its broader implications. Doris Luthard was re-elected during the first ballot. Her re-election was supported by all parliamentary groups except that of the SVP. Round 1 Doris Luthard 160 Christoph Blocker 12 votes received by other persons 19 votes cast 244 invalid votes for blank votes 49 valid votes 191 absolute majority 96. In the upcoming section, we'll be dissecting Federal Chancellor and exploring its implications in greater detail. Anamori Huber Hotz, the Chancellor between 2000 and 2007, did not seek re-election. Three candidates were presented by the parties, Corina Casanova, Vice Chancellor between 2000 and 2007, Natalie Falcone Gams Puck and Marcus Siloff Piprad. Corina Casanova was elected in the first round of voting. Round 1 Corina Casanova 124 Natalie Falcone Gamma 64 Marcus Sila 52 votes received by other persons for votes cast 246 invalid votes 0 blank votes 2 valid votes 244 absolute majority 123. I love interacting with my viewers, so leave me a comment and I'll do my best to respond.